I'm gonna share with you how to build a membership site in ClickFunnels fast. No more worries, no more stressing out. Stick around, you're gonna to wanna to see what's coming next. Yo, what is up, Zachary Babcock here, former drug addict, spent over five years of my life in prison, turned underdog entrepreneur and the Prove Em Wrong prodigy with a top 200 iTunes podcast. What is up, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if this is your first time here and you want the best tips on lead generation and customer acquisition, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to notifications, that way you don't miss anything. With that being said, we're about to get it, man, I'm, about, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step on how to build a membership site in ClickFunnels. It's a real simple, easy tutorial to follow, step by step throughout the whole process um, if you're if you're not tech savvy no worries I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this so with that being said let's head to the computer and I'll show you how to do this when you're in click funnels you want to go up here and click the tab where it says click funnels and you want to go down to build funnel boom click on that then I always start with the click uh, cookbook click on this and depending on what industry you're in you pick that I'm just gonna pick the first one here and then um, the type of funnel uh, we want to sell a product, okay? And um, he, he, we're just gonna we're just gonna click uh, membership funnel. All right, boom, there it is. Now I always start with uh, he, Russell will show you, you know, exactly how it works and whatnot. I always start with a blank membership funnel. I like to build them from scratch. You could pick a templated one if you want. Click get funnel. Um, now it's delivering. Now, first thing that you want to do is go into your settings, which is this top right tab under the funnel settings. And once we get into the funnel settings, then uh, you can name your funnel, whatever you'd like to name it. Then you'd select your domain. I'm just going to select, select ZacharyBabcock.com. Uh, you'd set up your SMTP configuration for emails. Then you would paste in your Facebook pixel code and then also any other pixel codes that you'd want for tracking, for uh, advertising or whatnot. And then you would um, you know, name the path, which so it would be ZacharyBabcock.com forward slash test one. I'm just going to put that there for right now. And then you can select your favicon, which your favicon is what you would see at the top of the browser. It's a little icon. Uh, if you have a logo or whatnot, you can put, put that in there. And, um, yeah, then that's how you would do it. You can scroll down here and save and update settings. Now, once that's set up, then you would want to go ahead and build out your sales page. Um, I'm, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to build out a sales page. If you want to know how to build a high converting sales page, check this card in your top right corner right there. All right, cool. Then you would want to build out your offer wall or also known as the thank you page uh, for the purposes of this video. I'm not going to do the uh, offer wall thank you page. However, if you want to know how to build a thank you page um, within ClickFunnels, then you could check out this video that's going to be showing up right there as well. Okay, cool. So now that we got that out the way, let's actually build out the membership area. So the membership access page is pretty straightforward. It's what they would do, and it's pretty much all the way set up. You could just customize it to fit your own liking, uh, fit your own liking, um, make it look, uh, you know, uh, branded, um, congruent with your brand. So you'd select a template, and then you can go under publishing, and you could change the uh, the path. Well, once again, this would be ZacharyBabcock.com forward slash um, test two. And then boom, now you have that all set up. And then what you're gonna do is go in here and click edit page. That opens up the editor inside of here. You can click on, you know, if you wanna if you wanna completely lay it out completely different, you could delete this uh, section and then you can add a new section, which would be uh, we would click this right here. I would click full width, it's gonna add it down here. Then I could just click on this little arrow, moves it up up to the top. And then you would add a row, so let's click on that, and you can make it two columns, whatever, how many columns you want. I make two, and then you would add a new element, and this is where you'd want to put in an image, and then you click on the image, and then you click on this image setting inside of the settings, and then you would add your uh, logo. Um, let me find one here. And I'm just going to add this logo just for the purpose to show you. You can also go to image width. And if you leave the second one blank and just change this one, it'll keep it the same. So we'll say 200. Boom. Maybe maybe we'd want to do 250. Perfect size. And then, um, yeah. And it, it, if I want to want it to sit more to the left, I'd click advanced and go to align and go to the left. Now it's sitting off to the left and it looks good. 
I can also click this gear icon underneath the settings and I can change the BG, which is background color. And say I just want to make it all black in the background. Boom. You know, and um, if I wanted to move this down, this part of the section down, I click on settings and you could do the top or uh, that part, but I just go to the top margin and I move it up to like a 30. Boom. And now it kind of looks a lot better. And um, this is already, you, you don't really need to set a, a mess with the settings on this. This is already set. So uh, if people were coming here, they would come and they, they would create their account. If they're already a member, they could just enter their passwords and click log in. So that's all good. Um, then you'd want to go to settings. I always turn off the uh, search engines. I hide that. And the affiliate badge, I hide that. Uh, that's where that little click funnels badge will come in the bottom here when they're actually previewing it. I don't want that to be showing. I just want everything branded with mine. Um, and then the tracking code in here, um, you know, if you w would want to add a pixel event in here, you could like it say like a page view or if it was a lead or whatnot. Um, I usually don't put put any pixel on the login page because I've already got them for a lead or a sale if they already get they made it this far. And then last but not least, SEO metadata metadata whatever um, you can just name this whatever you'd like um, and then you're good to go you hit save and then that page is built and good and ready to go we hit exit now we're actually gonna build out the membership area so you click on membership area and then once that's loaded now um, there's a few few different things here so you have lesson sections and then actual lessons so here's the first section all right, and lesson one, we can open up the editor. We, we This little icon, this like it's drawn on the piece of paper, click on that, and this is how you edit the lesson. So it's called first lesson, but you can actually change the name to um, lesson one. And then you could set up drip delays, like this would show if you wanted to release your lessons um, you know, and a certain like like they have to wait a day for it to show you could do that I never do I just let everything be available right away But if you wanted to do that you could do that as well And you can also do some advanced settings like release date like if this was like a membership that was only available for a certain amount of days um, You know like say it was like a 30-day course and then they lose access to it You could set release dates for the actual episodes right here by filling out that and then once you're done with that you click update lesson and then now what you want to do is you want to open editor, click on that, and what that does is now you can actually customize the lesson. So in here, I don't like this template, so what I do is I delete this whole entire section, boom, and then I leave this how it is right here, um, and then I would click a full width, adding a new section, and then I would add a new row, and add one column and then I'd add an element and I usually do video lessons so I'd have a video and then underneath if I have a downloadable PDF or worksheets for them you can add another element clicking on that and you could just add a button and then you have the button right here and you click and you can change the name uh, put download here You'd put whatever you want, obviously. And then you would set the action. You could also change the color of this button to whatever color fits your style, your brand. Um, and then you can also hit, you would hit set action. And for this, I would want it to go to a, a website URL. I wouldn't want it to submit the order or the form. I'd want, it, I'd want this button to go to a website URL. So all I would do is come in here and I'd paste in the link. Uh, for the download now more than likely if you're given a PDF download or whatnot you would upload that to your digital assets in click funnels and then you would paste that digital asset URL right here and then they would be able to do that and um, I always click open a new window so that way it keeps this open now that's good to go obviously you can go up here and change this around however you'd want to name the lesson title and then a little subtitle right here below it and then boom that's good to go and then you click save and then what that does is um, it, it's it's good to go when you open up the actual um, the uh, the membership site. Um, so if I wanted to add another lesson, I would just for to save you a lot of time, duplicate it. If a lot of them were going to be the same, and then I could just go in here 
and change the name once again, um, you know, where I'd want it. And then also you could just go in here now that you duplicated it and all you have to do at this point for the video, you know, you would just click on the video settings. I forgot to show you this in the first part for the video type. You know, if you're uploading it from YouTube, you can just select YouTube and then paste in the YouTube URL. And then now on the set, since we're on the second lesson, you would just come in here and change the URL for the video. That's for that lesson, change the title, change the, uh, the button link and you're good to go. And that's how easy you set it up. And then, um, so that's how to set up lessons. Now, if I want to add another section, like say this first section, um, you know, was, was, uh, about us, uh, uh, like a certain module. Now I want to add a new lesson section right here. I'd click that and then I can name it. Um, we'd call this branding. Maybe this section was all about branding. And then, um, you know, I don't never put in requirements like they have to have this or bought that, but maybe you do. So you can put that in here. I've never used that feature before. I just use a simple, you know, there's no need to set up that advanced sophistication most like in most cases. So you create the lesson section, boom, now you have it. And if I wanted to, uh, delete this first section and, um, or to rename it, you know, like this one would be, um, advertising. Then I could, and then now that section is called advertising. I have the lessons one and two, and then I can create another, um, I could duplicate another lesson and then I just click on this and then I can change it to branding. Now it's in branding and then I do the same. I'd open it up and do that. And then now you build out all these modules. So you have all of your content, uh, whatever your course is, and then you click open editor open an editor this is going to actually open up the membership site the uh the the layout of it and then it's automatically this is it says lessons lesson auto updated so it will actually automatically update but in here you can like mess around like if you want to put your logo right here you can just click on that and slap in slap in your logo boom and then um, you can you would put links on these like you'd put the link to the dashboard you put the link in you, you can you can take it out if you want altogether but support underneath support the um, link you are like it, it'll show you link text dashboard so what what's the link URL that you want for dashboard and then you would you know you choose uh, members area for dashboard and then for uh for link target same window you'd want to keep that same window then link text support for support i always uh put in my email that i would want the you know the support email that i'd want and you would just put mail to with no space and then these uh two dots and then the email address so it would be um contact at zachary babcock Dot com. Boom. And then when they click on this support link, now that I set the link URL, it'll le it'll open up an email window for them to email me if they're having any pro problems. And then uh, the link text log out, it's already set for, you know, to sign out, but you can change these around and customize them however you like. And then uh, for me personally, I, um, and then for me personally, I usually take out the search through course thing. I don't really need it because I don't have like a huge advanced like 100 modules in there. But you can keep that in there if you want. And all this will be automatically updated. So all I do is click save. And we're just going to call this test three. All right, click save. And then now we'll hit preview and see what it actually looks like. And you see how it automatically updates? Um, there, I didn't put any video link in here, but it would have your video in here. It would have, you know, whatever you put in the title, you know, that's uh lesson one. Then if they click on this one, the next one, it would bring them to that. And then underneath it, they can close that tab and then open up the new module, this tab and click on that video and boom. And that's how you simply, uh, create uh, a membership site inside of ClickFunnels. There's one more thing I do want to show you. So now that we have the membership site and you know how to, how to work it, um, there's also this uh, links right here. So this secret sign up URL for free access, you could just send them this link and they click on that and they can get free access to your course. 
uh, this is the actual uh, link to the uh, to the membership area um, to log in. Um, but you, you just send them the membership access link uh, inside of their email. But you can also change it underneath publishing, and you can change the path for that uh, membership access for them to actually uh, type in their credentials to log in. But you could change the path to whatever you want. And then you see how it changed right here to the test for RRR. That's how you do that. It's simple, uh, how to build a membership site. Um, and that, there, there you have it. All right, did you find that helpful? Did, was that really uh, easy to follow along? Was it easy to implement? If so, let me know in the comments below and give me a thumbs up uh, on the video. If this video sucked and uh, it was too confusing, you still don't know how to build a membership site, uh, let me know in the comments below if it sucked. Uh, let me know where there's some areas of improvement. Hit me with a thumbs down. Uh, your, your sincere, honest feedback really helps me improve as a YouTuber and bring you what you need in the future so I uh, definitely appreciate that if you haven't already subscribed to this channel tap the bell notifications and uh, and and subscribe and tap the bell notifications if you haven't already if you want the best tips on lead generation and customer acquisition I will see you on the next video but until then you can check out some of these videos that I'm getting ready to share with you right now we put them hours in to bring them dollars in but it's that underdog empowerment We put them hours in To bring them dollars in My name is Zachary Bell